Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my December TBR and I'm really excited to be talking about all the books that I plan to read this month to end out 2021. But first I want to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Book of the Month. I am super excited to be working with them this month. I was ecstatic when they reached out to me and wanted to send me their December picks and I love Book of the Month so much. I've been subscribed to them for a very very long time. So if you didn't know, Book of the Month is super popular and fast-growing online book subscription service and their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover books they love. Their team vets hundreds of books each month and gives readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles so you can spend more time reading and less time researching. Book of the Month is risk-free so you can skip any month anytime and you will not be charged. Plus they have the best price for new release hardcover books. They even have a super special deal going on for the month of December so you can get your first book for just five dollars with the code JOLLY and that is super awesome. So if you want to sign up, there will be a link in my description. Let's go ahead and get into the five picks they have for December. First we have Olga Dies Dreaming by Sochi Gonzalez. This one is set against the backdrop of New York City in the months surrounding the most devastating hurricane in Puerto Rico's history. Olga Dies Dreaming is a story that examines political corruption, familial strife, and the very notion of the American dream, all while asking what it really means to weather a storm. Next we have A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. Hauntingly beautiful, hypnotic, and bewitching, A History of Wild Places is a story about fairy tales, our fear of the dark, and losing yourself within the wilderness of your mind. Then we have a memoir called Somebody's Daughter by Ashley C. Ford, the story of a childhood defined by the ever-looming absence of her incarcerated father and the path we must take to both honor and overcome our origins. I'm very excited about their thriller pick for the month, A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. When a serial killer emerges with an eerily familiar pattern, Chloe Davis wonders if she's really escaped her past. And of course, because it is December, we have a cute holiday romance called The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. This is a feel-good holiday-themed romantic comedy about identical twins who switch lives in the days leading up to Christmas. Will the twins' identity swap be a recipe for disaster, or does it have all the right ingredients for getting their lives back on track? And then they did send me one of their new and recent add-ons, which I am super, super excited about, and that is The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. In this witty collection of essays filled with insightful ideas, John Green reviews the faults and merits in ourselves. So thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video and for sending me all of these fantastic books. I cannot wait to read them all. I'm very excited to add a couple of these onto my December TBR. But of course, if you are interested, make sure to head over to Book of the Month and snag your first book for just $5 with the code JOLLY. Again, the link is in my description. Now let's go ahead and get into my December TBR. So I do have some holiday romances on my TBR as well as some other ones that I just want to finish before the end of the year. First up, I am of course adding The Holiday Swap. It sounds super fun and super cute and I cannot wait to read this one. Also from Book of the Month, I really want to get to The Anthropocene Reviewed. I'm not normally into nonfiction, but this one has me really intrigued. I think this might be a good one to just casually read throughout the month, but I'm very excited to dive in and I think it's gonna be very, very interesting. Next on my TBR, TBR is Eight Perfect Hours by Leah Lewis, but this one I actually have already read in my most recent vlog, so you can go over there and watch it and hear my thoughts. But this one isn't technically a holiday romance, it is more just a wintry romance because it is set in March. So I think it was marketed wrong because some people have said that at Barnes and Noble it's in the holiday romances section, and a lot of people are adding it on their December TBRs, maybe thinking it's holiday romance. It's still obviously has the snowy vibes but it is during March and there's no talk about Christmas in this but like I said if you want to hear my thoughts on this it is in my most recent reading vlog and then next we have one of my current reads which is In Holidays by Christina Lauren. I am currently reading this for my family book club and I'm not too far into it but I am enjoying it, I will say. This is a super fun holiday rom-com about a girl who gets stuck in a time loop and she keeps waking up on a plane on the way to their family's cabin for Christmas vacation and she doesn't understand why. Next we have Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. In this one we follow a girl two weeks before Christmas that is walking around the streets of Manhattan and she stops in front of this department store, meets a charming man named Aiden who asks her opinion 
on the decor in this shop's window. She admits that it looks terrible, but doesn't know that he is the owner of this shop. So he asks her to then work for him and make the window decor look better. So she's now working for this man and trying not to fall in love with him. So it sounds really fun and cute. Another Christmas romance I wanna get to is A Cross Country Christmas by Courtney Walsh. I have this one on my Kindle, but this one is about a girl who isn't a fan of Christmas and she rarely makes a trip home for the holidays. But this December, Lauren's brother and his wife are expecting a baby, so her brother arranges a ride home for her with his good friend, Will, who was her childhood crush growing up for more than 10 years. Now, thanks to her fear of flying, she's forced to road trip with Will from California to Illinois for Christmas. All right, and then my last Christmas romance that I have on my TBR is The Christmas Wedding Guest by Susan Mallory. Now, this one is the first in a series about sisters who believe in love but they've lost faith it will happen for them. As the Christmas wedding draws closer, these two sisters just might unwrap the most treasured gift of all, love. All right, and then I have three more here to talk about that are not Christmas related, but I'm still very excited for all three of them. So first we have Blindsided by Karen Slaughter, and I've talked about this multiple times already on my channel, but I cannot wait to get into this twisty thriller. This one is about a small town in Georgia that erupts in panic when a young college professor is found brutally mutilated in the local diner. We follow the main character, Sarah, who is the town pediatrician and coroner who does the autopsy on the man found in the local diner. Sarah is the one who holds the key to finding this killer and a secret from her past can unmask this psychopath or result in her death. Then we have Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. In this comes a poignant comedy about a crime that never took place, a would-be robber who disappears into thin air and eight extremely anxious strangers who find they have more in common than they ever imagined. And finally we have White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is the haunting of Hill House meets Get Out in a very chilling YA psychological thriller and has a very modern take on a classic haunted house story. In this we follow Marigold, who is running from ghosts. As the secrets of this house are spilling through the cracks, Marigold learns that the dangers of this house aren't limited to Maple Street. Okay, and that wraps up my December TBR. I'm really excited to read all of these holiday romances, as well as some fun little thrillers. Please comment down below and let me know what's on your TBR, or if you've read any of these that I just mentioned. And thanks again so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.